good morning everyone present here i am anju kundu along with my colleagues ms kanchan khatreja and dr anjal saluja from school of education at kya mangalam university would like to welcome you all on a third day of this one week online interdisciplinary faculty development program on meaningful research and intellectual property rights which is being held in collaboration with the faculty of education ccs university meerut the school of education at k mangalam university aspires to become an internationally recognized department through excellence in interdisciplinary arena of education research and innovation preparing socially responsible lifelong learners contributing to the nation building today is the third day of fdp and topic of the day is filing of patents and documentation procedures industrial design and geographical indications a patent gives you the right to stop others from copying manufacturing selling or importing your innovations without your permission a patent is important because it can help safeguard your invention it can protect any product design or process that meets certain specifications according to its originality practicality suitability and utility in most of the cases a patent can protect an invention for up to 20 years it's a great honor uh, to introduce our guest speaker for today's session and i would like to take this opportunity to introduce ma'am uh, today we have uh, mrs v swapna associate faculty member and ati and i ipf in charge she has 16 years of total experience in training and consultancy in area of intellectual property rights quality management skill development programs she has a masters degree of textile technology from university college of technology osmania she is the certified patent agent and trademark agent by intellectual property office government of india she has post graduate diploma in patents law from nalsa university she is also certified at z assessor from quality council of india she is specialist in patent analytics in wide range of industry segment that covers textiles chemical and so on capable of handling various types of projects she is also well versed in patents and trademark filing and procuration uh, procedures she is also having knowledge on commercial patent trademark and business database she worked closely with union minis uh, ministries msme development institutes women entrepreneurship associations industry associations and state governments for organizing workshops capacity building programs and exhibitions and also for providing consultancy for assistance and monitoring aspiration and existence entrepreneurs she is management representative of national institute of msme for implementation and maintenance of the quality system she has attended the 15 days international training programs at jakarta and indonesia and 10 national level professional training programs we welcome you ma'am uh, before we proceed for, uh, further i would like to take um, i would like to request professor dr tanya gupta ma'am dean school of education to enlighten our participants with the few words tanya ma'am thank you uh, ms manju good morning uh, to all the participants who have joined us on day 3 of the faculty development program on meaningful research and intellectual property rights uh, which is uh, being shared uh, which is uh, you know it's a collaborative uh, endeavor uh, why i use the word shared is because it's sharing of knowledge it's sharing of ideas it's sharing of a uh, lot of experiences where the school of education kr mangalam university uh, gurugram haryana has uh, come up along with the faculty of education ccs university merit to organize this one week interdisciplinary faculty development program and uh, today we are on day 3 of this fdp uh, for the past two days uh, we have you know we have uh, moved from the basics of intellectual property rights where we had dr manjira saikia she had uh, given a very extensive and elaborate uh, presentation and overview on the basics of ipr and yesterday day 2 uh, we had uh, professor av senthil kumar who uh, spoke on systematic approach for writing research articles indexing and citations so uh, dear colleagues we are here today with the day 3 of our 
Faculty Development Program. And today we have an expert, Dr. V. Swapnaji. You've already heard about her profile. And she's also taking us on, you know, she's taking us ahead in this journey of understanding IPR and meaningful research. And today we have invited her uh, on uh, to speak with all of you on filing of patents. It's we, we all know how important today it is, uh, you know, to file patents, but then it is a very scientific process. It's a very elaborate process. It requires certain procedures and documentations. And one has to be very specific on what, you know, what kind of patents one wants to file. So uh, she is here with us to, you know, take us on this understanding of what is actually a patent and how does one go about the procedure of patents. So uh, welcome on behalf of uh, our uh, vice chancellor, uh, our pro-vice chancellor, our management, leadership, as well as from CCS University, Merit. Uh, Dr. Swapnaji, we welcome you. Uh, it's an honor to have you with us. Uh, and uh, we really hope that the session is going to be uh, extremely enriching, extremely meaningful. And uh, the format of our FDP is that we will, uh, you know, once you finish with your, uh, your presentation, your discussions, the, the participants uh, will be posting in questions in the chat box. Uh, which we will request you to take up subsequently towards maybe the last, uh, you know, 20 minutes or so, if there are substantial amount of questions. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, you can proceed with your uh, presentation. So welcome once again, madam, and we are very happy to have you on board. Uh, may I now please kindly request you to uh, conduct your session. Welcome. Thank you, uh, thank you, madam. Thank you, Tanya, madam, and Manju, ma'am, uh, for giving me the opportunity. And I welcome all the uh, participants uh, from uh, uh, KR Mangalam University and CCS University for organizing this one week interdisciplinary faculty development program on meaningful research and intellectual property rights. This is a need of award for all the faculties uh, to do a meaningful research. Uh, definitely, um, session will definitely help them to go through the patent information to Um, from your voice um, got stuck. Get inside from the patent information and also what are the procedures and geographical indications and uh, madam has already said that the basic much time on that and i just yes any problem uh, so i will be uh, straight away uh, informing you the patent filing process and also the documental uh, documentation procedures and also the procedure for the industrial design and geographical indications okay so let me share my presentation Hope, uh, are you able to see my presentation or shall I share once again? Yeah, ma'am, you have to share it once again because it's um, not visible right now. Yeah, okay. Hope you are able to see this. Yeah, now it's visible, ma'am. We can go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, as uh, Madam already briefed about my profile, I just wanted to give a quick introduction about our uh, institute, National Institute for My um, for Micro Small Medium Enterprises. It is an autonomous organization under Ministry of MSME. We are pioneer uh, for development and uh, uh, providing the information services for the sector and service services like 
Uh, Ma'am, uh, sorry to intervene, but your voice got stuck uh, in between. Education uh, and information service has trained more than uh, uh, 5 lakh participants by organizing. We have trained various officials from centers, international programs, and so far we have conducted uh, uh, It will be clear. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we can hear you, but with the, some uh, kind of network issue, ma'am, in between. But now it's clear. We can go ahead, ma'am. Hello. It's audible, ma'am, now. Hello. Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Okay, so we have uh, trained so far 10,000 international executives from 143 developed countries. And the Institute has undertaken uh, consultancy activities on various MSME aspects. Uh, so we have also conducted uh, inter uh, international programs and also uh, various uh, research projects. And we are also nodal agency for cluster development, uh, where uh, we have undertaken the consultancy for more than 150 rural clusters. Okay, so coming to our center, uh, intellectual property facilitation center, mainly uh, uh, help the MSMEs in IP registrations. And also we conduct various awareness and uh, training programs in this area. And so far we have uh, filed more than uh, 100 uh, trademarks and we have filed more than 50 uh, patents and we have done significant number of copyrights, designs and uh, geographical indications. And uh, I will not go into the basics because it is already covered. So I will straight away uh, um, uh, talking about the patents. Okay, patents, as you all are aware, that is a right given for any new product or a process or any new uh, modification for a product or a process that has some economic significance. Okay, so improvements can also go for the patent right, provided that it meets the patentable criteria. Hope you all are aware of the patentable criteria. So uh, the main, uh, these three are important, that is novelty, inventive step, and industrial application. So this is a, a criteria for getting the patent right. So any invention, if you want to have the patent right, so it has to meet this patentable criteria and it should not fall under the non-patentable inventions that are defined under patent act okay so uh, there are certain things i think uh, this have already covered so i'll uh, we have a uh, uh, patent uh, office at uh, kolkata uh, we have at uh, delhi mumbai and uh, uh, even uh, we have it um, uh, chennai Okay, so all the southern states we have to file through the uh, Chennai Patent Office, whereas or not they have to um, file through a Delhi office. So based on their jurisdiction, uh, we have to file in the appropriate office. Okay, so now we need not worry about all that. There is an e-filing system uh, where uh, uh, we can uh, file all the uh, we can upload all the documents and file the patent application from anywhere okay it's through e-filing system and this was uh, introduced uh, three years back and uh, it was very much helpful and a lot of transparency has been bought by the indian patent office okay so we can even track the patent application status online and we can also uh, search the patents uh, through the public search uh, portal uh, i i pays uh, 
so lot of uh, uh, developments have happened and uh, um, uh, we can even uh, get the sms alert uh, for the patent uh, from the patent office also regarding the patent uh, um, status okay so these are the developments happened and uh, coming to the patent okay so there are certain forms and uh, um, uh, procedure that you need to follow before filing the patent so as i said whenever you have an invention uh, have to file patent application before you disclose in the public okay and uh, for most of the faculty uh, you have to keep it in mind that before publication you need to file the patent application okay so if you uh, publish before you file the patent application then you will lose the criteria of getting the patent okay so that that's why i advise all faculty to please uh, first file the patent application and then go for the publication of your uh, research in any of the journals okay so uh, i will share uh, i will show the site where you can get all the information where you can get all the information regarding the patents so this is a site ipindia.nic.in so this is a site where you get all the information regarding the patents designs trademarks geographical indications okay so there you can file your patent application or uh, uh, you can also do a public search okay where you can search for the indian patents okay there is also dynamic utilities where you can uh, check all the status regarding the patent applications okay so this is a comprehensive so e filing system whenever you click this uh, then there will be uh, links for separate for e filing of patents e filing of designs uh, e filing of trademarks designs and geographical indications so first uh, whenever you have uh, some inventions you have to see that it meets the patentable criteria or not okay so if once it is meet uh, then you have to prepare for the patent application okay so there are certain documents where you can uh, just uh, uh, check this particular site and go through this form sign fees where there are particular forms okay so there are form 1 which is a, a uh application for the patent grant okay so this is a patent application uh, where you need to fill uh, give the details regarding the applicant it patent can be filed by an individual by an uh, company or by a, uh, it can be a joint application also it can be by an individual and a company it can be by the both the companies okay so even academic institutions can also file the patent application okay so uh, this is a format for uh, uh, form 1 where you need to give the uh, details regarding the applicant nationality and also the address for uh, applicant okay so uh, if you are an individual filing the patent application then you have to uh, click this natural person and then you have to give all the uh, other details regarding uh, your address and uh, nationality okay for foreign applications like foreign country they should have an address for service at india so they can make use of any form uh, form uh, or they can use of any attorney uh, to have the address of india okay or they should have an office at india to file the patent application okay and uh, uh, regarding this uh, fee also there the fee varies based on the type of applicant if it is an individual sme or startups or even the educational uh, institutes also come under the uh, same category like a small entity and the fee structure is 1600 rupees for the patent filing okay so uh, you have to click all this uh, uh, details in this you have to give all these details and prepare 
prepare this particular form uh, hard copy and you have to uh, keep a folder uh, where you need to keep all these documents and there is also a specific uh, um, format for uh, drafting your patent uh, uh, drafting your invention about your invention okay so this is about the form which where you need to give the applicant details you need to give the inventor details okay so there can be two applicants three applicants or there can be also joint applicants okay all these details you have to give it and uh, uh, you have to um, mention uh, number of pages also so i will show the format to uh, this is a form one which is a mandatory uh, for filing the patent application okay and there is one more form which is called as form for uh, specification okay so this is uh, a form where you need to give in this particular format okay and um, for filing the patent application suppose your invention is in the still in the idea stage and you require some more time to uh, file uh, complete it you need you can file a provisional application okay so after fi after filing the provisional application within 12 months you need to file the complete specification okay and uh, it is not mandatory also to file first provisional or uh, then complete if you are complete with your invention you can file specification so this is the format for, for uh, a complete specification or provisional provisional uh, specification i will show the contents of uh, the patent application and how to you do uh, a research maybe you do, do some literature search you know whenever you do you do uh, you review all the literature relating to that particular area similarly whenever you file a patent application you have to go through the all patent documents in that particular area and you have to uh, find uh, some of the references which are close to patent applications which are already filed that particular area and also you have to identify what are the gaps that is existing and what your invention will be addressing okay maybe your invention is addressing certain problem a new product or a new process which is not there in the literature okay so you have to mention all those things in the um, patent uh, specification i will be sharing now the patent specification format where you need to give the details in different titles okay and prepare the patent specification okay so this is the format for application uh, and this is a uh, document which you need to prepare very carefully okay that's why most of the applicants they take care uh, they make use of uh, uh, patent agents or uh, uh, ip forms for uh, uh, drafting their patent application okay so as you all aware that patent has are mentioned in a legal language okay and if we if you are talking about a product okay or a device or a, uh, anything that uh, you have to give the uh, diagram of that particular uh, drawings drawing device or a product okay Okay. Or uh, if it is a process, then you have to mention regarding the flow chart or how the uh, process flow is like. Okay. So all these things you have to uh, um, prepare in this patent specification. And last part will be the abstract where you need to write about your invention, uh, 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 not more than uh, 150. work
words. So this. Uh, it should not be more than 15 words. So these are for patent specific format. Okay. Uh, some of the examples which is like we should not also use this uh, patent word in the uh, title. Okay, most of the uh, applicants they do that uh, patented uh, device, patented uh, uh, formula. Okay, so they include that in the title. Okay, but we should not use the word patent. Okay, so what is actually the subject matter of the invention you have to mention in this particular title. Okay, and if you have any specific, suppose uh, uh, I develop a device which runs uh, um, automatically, may maybe uh, by pneumatic way okay so i may say that it is a pneumatic machine okay uh, so if it is a formulation which is helpful uh, which is made up of herbal uh, herbal uh, herbal formulation so it, you may say that it's a herbal composition or a herbal formulation okay used for cosmetic purpose okay or maybe you may say that if it is relating to any food uh, okay uh, or any drink okay you have to mention like that okay so this is a, a title where you have to uh, write with no uh, without um, not exceeding 15 words and then then comes the field of invention okay where you write the uh, um, field what actually your inventions relate to and also you should also highlight the application of that particular invention okay in that okay suppose uh, your invention is relating to a drying machine for uh, uh, drying the uh, spices or uh, agri commodities you have to mention that it's, uh, uh, the inventions relate to the drying machine for, for drying the agri commodities that can be spices that can be any type of agri commodity okay so like that you have to mention the field of invention and uh, third one will be the prior art or the background where you need to list all the uh, related uh, references uh, maybe it can be a patent references or the publication references uh, which is already there in the public domain okay and what are all the problems that is existing okay or uh, your invention is addressing any of the problem then you have to highlight in this particular prior art and the problem to be solved okay so the next part will be the objective of the invention uh, in this particular part you have to mention what your invention is actually solving uh, or uh, uh, what what is the objective of that particular invention okay so is it uh, addressing any problem okay or it is giving uh, suppose if it is a product which is having some additional features okay maybe the product is existing and you have modified the product and come out with a um, more features then you have to highlight that particular thing okay so all this uh, you have to mention in the object of the invention where you have to give uh, the entire details about your invention okay so you have to describe the invention with the help of drawings and you have to label the uh, drawing and in the description you have to explain about your invention with the help of this labels okay so all this uh, even uh, even the minute details regarding the invention you have to specify in this particular section okay so um, even you have to highlight where this invention will be applicable and what are all the possibilities okay so um, uh, for that particular invention all this you have to mention in this particular detailed description of the invention and the last part will be the statement of claims where actually you will specify 
specify uh, uh, the invention aspects in a legal language okay suppose i have made some uh, dispenser um, maybe uh, dispensing uh, my inventions lies in the dispensing mechanism then you have to highlight in the claims only that dispensing mechanism you should not talk about all the dispenser means uh, um, other than this dispensing mechanism okay so you were what actually your invention that only you have to highlight in this particular um, uh, section okay and the last part will be the drawings where you need to give this in a separate section and they should not be uh, any um, words written on that okay and all she all the uh, components all the parts of the diagram uh, or suppose if it is a device you have to give you the diagram line diagram of that particular device and you have to give uh, the uh, you have to label okay you should not mention the parts on that particular uh, drawing sheet okay and there is a specific format mentioned by the um, patent office okay so it should be in the a4 size sheets with a clear margin of uh, 4 cm on the top and uh, 3 cm at the bottom okay so these things you have a name at the end of the um, each page and uh, on the top of the page on the right side there should be number of sheet and what is a sheet number okay so there is a specific uh, thing in the diagrams and last part will be abstract which has to be written in a separate uh, sheet okay and it should not be more than one uh, 150 words and they should not be repeated to uh, things okay what actually your invention is what is the problem that it is solving or what is the advantage of your uh, uh, significance of your invention all this you have to mention in this particular uh, abstract if you to feel that uh, the uh, you can also uh, give the diagram of the main diagram in this abstract also okay if it is a process you have to explain that particular process uh, the uh, steps involved in that okay what is the uh, uh, how this process will be used what is the uh, um, utility of that okay so all this you have to mention in the abstract okay so this is the format for the patent specification and there is also uh, guidelines which is given for uh, claims identification okay and this uh, anyway i will be sharing this particular document to you all uh, for the faculty maybe you can make use of this document and uh, uh, you can draft the patent application okay so this is actually given in the manual but i have uh, just condensed it and make in a particular template okay so that it will be very easy for making the patent specification document okay so these all the things and before uh, pay uh, filing uh, before preparing this patent specification document I advise all of you to go through the patents which is already there in that particular area okay so that is why we do a patent search um, thorough patent search and find out what are all the patents that are filed already in this particular domain area okay so by that you can understand actually what you uh, um, uh, what are all the developments that has happened in that particular area is there any gaps that is existing okay and uh, this uh, patent search also will help uh, help you for giving the right direction to your research suppose you have uh, uh, thought of uh, working on a particular uh, problem okay and uh, you have gone through the patent literature and uh, you see what are all the works that has done in that particular area what are the solutions that they have offered and what still what uh, what are the gaps that is existing and uh, what you can work okay so that your invention uh, will be patented okay and most of technical information lies the patent literature that's why patent information is very useful for doing a meaningful research okay so this uh, uh, in the same site go so, uh, find this form sign fees there is a um, uh, patent search okay so you go to home
there is a public search option okay click on this public search okay so click uh, click on this patent So now you can see there is a patent search, patent e register, application status. Uh, okay. So this patent search only, uh, this is a portal, uh, Indian patent advanced search system where you can search the in search by the date you can search by the title you can search by the inventor names you search but all this information is pertaining to india only okay so you will not get the entire information uh, what are all the developments happened okay okay uh, to get the uh, complete information okay this site is only relating to the patent uh, information relating uh, to india okay so you can uh, use the keywords and uh, you can use uh, particular codes okay so there is a patent classification code uh, which will be helpful for searching uh, the relevant patents. I hope that uh, uh, maybe the earlier speakers might have thought, uh, talked about the patent classification. Okay, so this is a classification code which will be followed by all the countries. And this is a uh, classification code uh, is based on the uh, uh, domain area. Okay, so um, uh, WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization, uh, they have classified uh, this uh, patent uh, documents based on the uh, different sections. Okay, so there is a code which is given. Okay, suppose if it is relating to uh, chemistry related. Okay, so particular code is given. If it is relating to uh, textile so they have been okay so based on the technology uh, this classification codes are given okay suppose if you are searching in a particular domain uh, you can search uh, you can find out the relevant classification code and you can search give the just give the code and you can search the relevant patents in that particular area okay so this uh, you you can, uh, in this particular site, you can make use of this certain uh, fields and uh, give, just give the keywords and search bent patents, okay? So try to understand what are all the developments that has happened in that particular area, okay? So find, uh, uh, and also mm, uh, take uh, what are all the closely related uh, while drafting you for a patent application okay so now whenever you are filing uh, drafting this patent specification okay so you have to highlight uh, in the prior art the what are all the close references in that particular area okay and how you were invent is different from those references or what is the advantage of about your invention when compared to the previous uh, uh, inventions okay so all this you have to highlight in that particular section okay so this is about uh, the patent reference suppose uh, you give suppose uh, any word okay maybe now uh, everyone is talking about immunity so i'm just giving immunity Okay, or even it is just uh, uh, to find out what all the things we. Uh, 
abroad. Swapna, ma'am. That's which has been invented. Okay. In the last few, uh, in the last few years, okay, because now um, in this COVID scenario, everyone became health conscious and uh, talking about immunity. Improving the immunity. Okay, so there are a lot of formulations. Okay, food products which is uh, uh, developed. Okay, for improving your immunity. Okay, so so the things in that particular area also. Okay, so this you can search is uh, in this particular uh, section and uh, you can. See what are all the developments. One sixty one documents which is talking about immunity. Okay, so immunity enhancing composition method the Europe. Okay, if you click on this, we can find out who is what is the invention about. Okay. This site is very low. Okay, I'm not able to. Uh, once you enter that uh, information, uh, page in application file, I mentioned about you can search in this. Okay. So this is uh, related to the patents and the documents. Okay, so uh, one is form one and form three. You have to file it, and there is one more form called uh, form three. Okay, where you need to give the information regarding the statement and undertaking. Okay. So uh, form uh, also a mandatory document you have to file along with the patent application. Okay, so uh, this statement is that if you have uh, details about the uh, particular uh, references, printers has to give the declaration and they have to sign on that particular document. Okay, so this is also a document which you have to file along with the patent application. Okay, so um, if you are filing through, uh, you are taking the help of a patent agent, then you have to uh, file one more form that is called as form 26. Okay, so that has to be taken on the this is a form 26 uh, which has to be taken on the 100 rupees stamp, uh, stamp paper and you have to sign it and uh, sign along with the patent application okay so these are the certain uh, requirements and uh, after filing there will be a publication okay where uh, the patent office will publish your document after 18 months okay if you are in a hurry and you wanted to market your product or uh, commercialize your product, then you have to uh, put a request for any publication and further you uh, you um, um uh, you have to put a request in this particular form uh, 9 okay so this is a form 9 okay so this is uh, for putting the request for uh, publication and once it uh, is published it is open for anybody to oppose provided with proper evidence okay so th that is called a pre grant opposition stage okay if there is no opposition then it goes to the examination stage and patent office will not examine you 
for application until you put a request for examination and that you have to put a request in the form 18 okay so this is a form 18 which is mandatory you have to file it within 48 months uh, after filing the patent application okay so these are the certain requirements uh, uh, certain forms which you need to fill it and fi uh, file uh, in order to get the patent right okay so uh, i will show the e filing system where you can just uh, file online there is a e filing portal okay so now we need not file the uh, patent application we need not go to the office physically and submit all the documents we can file online okay so this is a portal where you can search all the uh, where you can file the uh, patent application online okay i'm just logging through my id And for registering in this particular portal, any applicant can do it or any individual can do it or a patent agent or an attorney can register uh, in this particular uh, portal. Okay. So for this, uh, there is a user guide given in this particular portal. Okay. Once you uh, just uh, enter in this uh, patent, there is a user guide where you need to do certain system requirements. And also you need to have a digital signature for filing the patent application. Okay. So uh, once you prepare all the documents, you have to click on this new application. Okay. And this is the uh, uh, which is showing that if your invention is having any biological resource obtained from India, then you have to take a permission from the National Biodiversity Authority. And it is a mandatory before filing the patent application, you have to take the permission uh, approval from the NBA. Okay. If you are not, if your invention is not having any res uh, information relating to biological resource, obtained from India, then you can straight away proceed to the e-filing. So this is a, 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 a information that you need to give. Okay, a type of application. Okay, you should give ordinary application. Okay, so as a citizen, uh, first they have to file in India before filing in abroad. Okay, in the other foreign countries. Okay, if you are uh, uh, if you are filing directly uh, in any of the foreign uh, country, then you have to take the permission from the Indian Patent Office. Put a request to the Patent Office that you are filing in other uh, countries. Okay, that is mandatory. Okay, and. Uh, uh, once you click on this ordinary application, you have to mention whether it is a provisional or a complete. As I said, there are two types. One is provisional. If you are in still an idea stage, you just need to give India, um, uh, gives priority to those who files first. Okay, so first. Uh, whoever files first, they will have the priority. Okay, so that's why most of the companies, whenever they have some new idea or they are doing some developments, then first they immediately go and file the uh, provisional application. Okay, so after filing the provisional application, uh, within 12 months, they have to file the application. The patent office will not process your application further. Okay, so uh, and uh, if you are ready with your invention, you just type, uh, directly file the complete specification. Okay, so you can just click on the type of applications and you should also mention the number of uh, pages because the patent key will be calculated based on the number of pages. Okay, so your patent document, uh, as I said, no, the form two where I have shown the uh, different uh, uh, sections where you need to provide the information 
specification and prepare the patent specification document. Okay, so that document, if it exceeds more than 30 pages, then for any additional page, then there will be a fee incurred. Okay, that's why we need to mention this number of pages, and based on these pages, the fee will be calculated. Okay, and even for the claims also, more more than 10 claims for additional claim you have to pay the additional fee okay and these fee details also are all mentioned in the link which uh, is provided in form sign fee which i have shown uh while showing this forms no so there the first one will be the fee where you can see what are all the different fee structures of the indian patent office okay and these are all the things, uh, details you have to give it, title you have to mention, you have to give the address for service. Uh, that should be an Indian uh, address. Okay, so uh, even the email ID for, okay, um, product or the process. Okay, so the products mainly relate to the science and technology. So those are protected. Uh, that's why we see the patents in that particular area. Okay, and there are also business model patents where US will be granting the business model patents, but India doesn't grant the business model patents. They are protected under the copyright, not under the patents. Uh, okay, thank you so much, ma'am. There's a one more question. Uh, is it, in fact, I'd like to add here, uh, Dr. Swapna, a little bit, because uh, this is a very relevant question, because, you know, uh, we also here, I mean, all of us here on board are from School of Education, and uh, I happen also to look after the School of Humanities here. So, yes, this is one, uh, you know, this is one kind of a, a hindrance where one, you know, feels that what kind of patents one can get, you know, especially into humanities and social sciences. I, I certainly agree that the kind of design patents that one can go in for uh, or maybe uh, anything which one is innovating uh, is a little easier uh, in terms of, you know, the thought process, if I say, uh, in the science and technology, even in architecture for that matter, we can move a lot of design patents. But yes, I think now with the, 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 the new education policy that has come in, which talks of you know, multidisciplinarity. So I think uh, people from education are also working with people uh, with, the, with the background of computer science engineering and people from psychology are working with the STEM field. So I think uh, through collaborative activities, patents are possible. I, I hope you agree with that. Yeah, it's patent are possible when you come out with as a product. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's why the main criteria is you have to uh, um, bring out a product that can be used by uh, the society. Okay. So um, maybe, uh, for example, uh, I'll give one um, uh, example like uh, software. Okay. So software actually it is a subject matter of copyright, not under patents. Okay. Because it is a series of logical expressions which are comes under the literary works and doesn't fall under uh, copyright, uh, under patent subject matter. Okay. But suppose the software is embedded in a product, uh, in a device and that has some industrial application. Okay. So that can go for a patent fight. Okay. So anything uh, if you have, if you come out with some new product, okay, so that can go for uh, patent right. Yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, Ma'am, uh, we have one more question. Yeah. Are there any role of non-governmental agencies in uh, filing a patent? Yeah, um, there are a lot of firms which will be helping you in filing. There are uh, um, IP firms, KPOs, law firms, okay, uh, which are help, which will um, be doing all this IP filings, okay. So, uh, for filing as an individual, you can file it, okay. If you know the procedure, if you know the documentation, okay, you can do it on your own, okay. But uh, because this patent is a skilled job, okay. A patent drafting of a patent is a skilled job only the people who are uh, having the knowledge can only do that okay so that's why uh, though you file it but later on you may get the objections from the patent office uh, that it is not as per the format or uh, um, 
uh, there will be a lot of objections, especially if you want to protect your inventional aspects, okay, thoroughly, okay, so you have to understand how to put it in that particular document, okay, so the only people skilled in that area can do that, so you can take the services uh, of uh, this um, IP firms or any patent agents and you can draft it, otherwise you can also go through the manuals and procedures in that patent uh, office site and uh, understand how to what are the different uh, um, formats which you have to follow and uh, how you have to present in the patent specification document and if you know then you can if you're confident enough you can directly file on your own okay okay ma'am i think in continuation of your answer there's a one more questions in the chat box from uh, sandeep uh, sagar ji uh, the documentation in the process uh, basically it's uh, so much time taking in yes. uh, regarding yes. the patient. So yes. is, is it beneficial to take any kind of external uh, help? Yeah, I, because those people will be uh, always in that process, okay, they will understand actually how to put the information, okay, first uh, main, uh, while drafting the patent document, you have to go through the background of that particular area, okay, first we have to understand and then uh, what are all the uh, literature that is already existing, okay, and also we need to know what are all the close references and uh, while drafting the patent application, we will we need to highlight about our invention how it is different from those references otherwise what the even during the examination stage the patent uh, examiner may give an objection okay uh, quoting the same references okay and then you that time you need to give an explanation how your invention is different from those inventions suppose if you have already done that work and uh, you have uh, presented in the specification document it will be very easy for them to understand and give the grant for your invention um, I have one question again from Dr. P.C. Jaina. Can standardization of a psychological test by the subject expert be considered as a patent or a fit for a uh, filing a patent? Psycholo uh, standardization of psychological test. Suppose anything that you put, uh, maybe how you do it, that you design some software, okay? and develop some system, okay? I will give one example uh, that uh, we have, uh, means one of the firm has developed a software uh, which can judge uh, the interest of the participants, okay? Uh, and uh, they will, uh, uh, that test will help you to understand actually their interest and based on their interest, the skill training will be given in that particular area, okay? So that was uh, a software that is developed and uh, they have developed the uh, device also, okay? So they take the images, they will take the eye contacts when they they uh, uh, speak on a particular subject, okay? So they judge it and then according to that, this person is fit for this particular traits, okay? So based on this, uh, based on their interest, you can give a uh, skill training in that particular area so that they will be successful in uh, getting the uh, employed or uh, uh, doing some business in that particular area, okay? So this is generally adopted in, um, uh, in the institutes where you give offer skill training so that uh, your outcome will be more, okay? So they have come out with a product and uh, like a product uh, and that can be incorporated uh, um, uh, for conducting, uh, for implementing the skill training program. So like that, if you have some psychological uh, stand, uh, that also, you have to come out with some product, okay? Which can be used by everybody. Okay, uh, so um, any panelist, I would like to request any panelist, uh, if uh, anybody wants to ask any questions, it's open for everyone. So ma'am, uh, I would uh, like to ask one question. First of all, thanks uh, for this session. Indeed, it was a wonderful session and quite an informative one. Uh, ma'am, uh, nowadays we are seeing that uh, crowdfunding of some uh, patents, uh, it has been done. All right, and in case if out of that patent, a device is being constructed, it comes out as a device. So uh, how, uh, I mean, uh, what will be the stake of all the members 
who were the a part of crowd funding then on that device. yeah it depends upon the agreement One. that you make with the different uh, thing okay so whenever you go for uh, uh, this type of things agreements plays a very important role okay so uh, uh, the contribution they are going to uh, make okay so actually the patent uh, if it is having a patent the patent holder will uh, need to decide uh, how to um, give the benefits to all these uh, things okay so agreement has to be there uh, legal agreements has to be drafted uh, well in that area okay or uh, ma'am in continuation with that question does the position uh, plays any uh, role in you know this thing or all the positions are same sometimes we uh, take the position as one two or three positions we can see that uh, different kind of uh, amounts they come up for different positions so is it like ki it is also uh, um see uh, this um, i am not uh, that much expert in that area also but uh, thing is uh, um, suppose uh, a product which is patented okay mm -hmm. and they are going to invest uh, in that particular product in producing that so based on uh, it can be um, based on the sales or it can be based on the annual annual uh, income okay they can share the percentage of, of uh, their contribution based on that they can share it okay but uh, all this has to be documented I means have to be properly placed and make a legal uh, agreement with them okay then only they can proceed Okay. All this has terms and conditions. Okay, the share that they are going to give. Okay, all this has to be uh, placed in the agreement. Ma'am, for instance, if we take a situation, for instance, let us uh, take you as the main contributor. Who uh, uh, the idea was yours, and uh, you were working on that. You call you uh, took that patent open for crowdfunding, and we as members, all the faculty members, they come up and uh, we pay the requisite amount which has been put up. And uh, what will be your you know stake on that particular device, and what will be ours? I mean. publication see that's what the income generated out of it a income generated when it commercially exploited okay so the what is the income generated maybe uh, you agree to uh, share the among the uh, shareholders uh, based on the uh, sales percentage or based on the maybe it can be annual or uh, um, maybe um, once in a quarter okay you are going to share this much percentage okay so that depends how you agree okay while doing this crowd funding all right all right so it's a matter of how the agreement has yes been, yes what yes uh, thank you so much ma'am uh, for all this uh, answer for all these questions Uh, now i would like to uh, request ms kanjan khatreja uh, for the vote of thanks thank you so much ma'am it is great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on the third day of interdisciplinary fdp program on meaningful research and intellectual property rights i kanjan khatreja on behalf of organizing committee convey deep regards and hearty thanks to our honorable vice chancellor sir professor c s dubey pro, pro vice chancellor ma'am professor pushpalata tripathi ji and management for giving us permission to organize such fdp i thanks our distinguished guest and speaker dr v swapna for an enlightening presentation on filing of patents and documentation procedures industrial design and geographical indication madam has very well explained how to file the patents she has provided guidelines for claim identification and publication types from indian patent advanced research system and geographical indication she has cleared doubts of all the participants also we are grateful to professor tanya gupta ma'am dean school of education kr mangalam university for constant help and encouragement her able guidance has always increased us i thanks ma'am for her continued guidance and support that radiated a source of energy within us i thank our school coordinator dr pc jena sir for their motivation and support to organize fdp 
My heartfelt thanks to all the faculty members of various departments for their valuable contribution. I also thank all the participants, including research scholars and faculty from various institutions for active participation in this program. I would like to thank our technical team expert, Mr. Dharamveer sir, who support us for the smooth conduction and coverage of this program. Last but not the least, I thank FDP coordinators, Dr. Anshul Saluja and Ms. Manju Kundu for their cooperation in making this program a success. Once again, I thank you all for your attention. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I have shared my contact details in the chat box. Uh, please, anyone, if you have any queries or any requirement, please let us know. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much uh, for being with us on this platform. We're really thankful and uh, we look forward for some more sessions. Uh, yes, some thank more time. So, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, Thank you so much, everyone, all the participants who.